Alright, we're finally heading into Grand Metropolis. Uh, I don't mind the stage very much. Uh, it's not one of my favorites. That Eggman is behind all of this. Whatever it takes, he's mine. Any objections? Negative. Is this the energy plant? That red liquid is being traded at high prices. Eggman must have plans to control the energy. So here we have Team Dark, consisting of Shadow the Hedgehog from Sonic Adventure 2, Rouge the Bat from also from Sonic Adventure 2, and newcomer to the to the Sonic the Hedgehog series, E123 Omega, who's basically uh, probably the same as E102 Gamma, but a highly more advanced robot. Trying to aim for the red rings there. Right, the rainbow rings, what they're talking about. <laughs> Not Sonic Colors. So, anyway. Um, <laughs> so, we have these switches, and you have to press the square button or whatever the controller has it, map does, and I, so I just ran straight into that robot. Um, to hold it in, even though it's the button saying rapid pressing, it's you actually got to hold in the button. I do like playing with Team Dark, except their um, their levels are actually the hard mode of the game. switch here. So further on in the games, you'll in, in this game you'll see those kinds of switches. Press them because you might find some hidden goodies like that. Alright, so I'm not gonna get that rainbow ring up the top because I can never seem to get there. So anyway we have the light speed dash with shadow and the rocket excel. Stuff like that. Now, there's glass there, but you just phase straight through it. I, I don't get that. I've always had a bit. Uh, I've always had gripes with that. Why the hell, if it has, if it's a glass, if it's glass, I understand that in uh, Sonic 06 because you know that the glass actually shatters. But in this game, it doesn't shatter at all. There. Alright, so there's a switch here, which will lead to the other door on the other side, if you did see it. Here. It's just speed shoes. Light speed dash failed again. <laughs> but yes, when E123 Omega is fully powered up, he's a real. He's not actually a powerhouse. See, he's only at level 2 there and he uses sort of a flamethrower type thing. Level 1. I think I can go back down the abuse physics you can't, uh... okay so there's one off the side Robots, okay, there was one robot that I didn't get. Alright, so these are free motion um, road type things, so they will always send you forward unless you like jump or something. Now, 
Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it, they took out the robot. Oh, I didn't know there was two robots down here. That was actually a good choice. But yeah, like I was saying, I don't mind this stage too much. It's not actually one of my favourites because it takes a little while to finish. Um, but Power Plant is definitely up there with my favourite levels in this game. Now, with the amount of levels in this game, actually, I subtract what I said in the... In the um, when I was playing with Team Sonic, there's actually 14 levels rather than 12, so we'll be playing through the three teams, Team Sonic, Team Dark, and Team uh, Rose, um, twice, and then we'll be playing with Team Sonic in the last episode, of the last two stages, and, okay, I was supposed to put a tornado in that. Because there's, there's random piles like that, you would have to use Shadow's, uh, uh, Shadow's, what's his name, Tornado attack. All I did was use the, the homing attack and I hit it sometimes, so I'm guessing there's a little bit of a problem in the coding, but maybe that's making it a bit easier for me. Ah, uh, so he's level. So everyone's going to be leveled up in a set. See, with the power type character, if you hit the cannon, unfortunately you actually have to shoot yourself, which is kind of a bit of a problem sometimes. Oh, there we go. I was going to wait until I hit a checkpoint, but okay. I'll take that now. And yes, you do get bonuses when you do that, which is nice. Rail grinding. You would never have to balance in this game. I don't know why it's not used more often. Like, I mean, balancing is a big problem, and I think that's what Adventure 2 was sort of having a problem with, was the balancing issues. I think at times, I haven't actually played it yet, so, um... Just abuse, uh... Rouge there, and as you saw, I faced through the uh, the rail. But yes, Rouge powered up is really, really good character to use for flying enemies because you know they take them out in one shot. Might as well go for it. But yes, like I said, um, with the difficulty in this game, it's actually uh, Team Sonic is the medium difficulty. Um, Team Dark is actually the hard mode of the game, and Team Rose is the easy, um, taken by surprise though, easy mode of the game, so if you're going to be playing through this game, play with Team Rose, but there will be a tutorial, I think, for Team Rose when you start the game up, so of course I will not be showing the first and second level because I actually had to go through the um, Seaside Hill and Ocean Palace again with Team Shadow, but the reason why I'm doing that is because I get the first cutscene and then I get the cutscene before the bosses, I'm going to put them in an extra video. I don't know who leveled up then, I think it was Rouge maybe? Oh, shield. Yes, we do have to actually have the shield power up from Adventure 2, I think. I mean, it's been here since Sonic the Hedgehog 1, but this uh, shield is actually the uh, green shield. If you guys know from um, the modern Sonic games. So. As you can see, I've got. See, so yeah, as you see, there's a, there's a, there's a cage there with the, oh, Jesus, <laughs> between a rock and a hard place, there you go, there's a, yeah, I don't know how that turtle flipped, 
Because technically the you can only flip them with a tornado from shadow, so I don't know how it flips. Since I was using Omega. Oh sh <laughs> Don't use the Rocket Excel there guys. <laughs> if you're playing this game, don't use the Rocket Excel there. But yeah, as you saw, Omega pulled off a uh, full on missile barrage. Oh, okay, I know what this is for. Hit down the middle. No. <laughs> okay. I thought I would reach it with that. I don't really need that. I will be using the Team Blast in some of the uh, other stages, I think. Oh, one up. Sweet. I didn't think I was going to get it. I was like, no, I missed it. <laughs> but I got it. As you see, there's a gold ring there. Oh, right. Sweet. So yeah, I had to go through the first two stages again. And verse the Egghawk with these guys. And I will be doing that with every team. Considering I'm doing all of them, so. Ten minutes. <sighs> Rough. Not bad, considering I got no time bonus whatsoever, so that was just points and rings. <laughs> Sometimes that's what I hate about these uh, later on stages, especially like uh, when we get to the casino themed world, um, Rail Canyon Bullet Station, you know, basically later on, it's just the, the time bonuses will get smaller.